All right, guys, welcome back to problem 17 in the fundamental problems of chapter 4. Okay, so we've been taking moments about um, not just points, but about specified ax axes, okay? And um, for this problem, they want to take the moment about the axis AB, okay? I want it about the AB axis. Okay. Which is this one right here in green? That's AB. Okay. So first, let's find uh, the unit vector of axis AB. Okay. So let's see. We know unit vector AB. We know it's going to be the distance RAB divided by the magnitude of RAB. Right, so we can normalize it. <clears throat> okay, so let's go from, um, I guess, let's make it point in. I guess this, let's go from B to A, okay? So distance from B to A is going to be, let's change color real quick. Distance from B to A is going to be 4i, okay? So 4i, and then minus 3j. Okay, and then, you know, take the magnitude of this to get the full distance, and don't worry about the negative because you're going to square it, <coughs> so when you square the negative goes away, All right, and then again, we'll, we'll get a 3, 4, 5, that that will equal to 5, so then it's 4 fifths i minus 3 fifths j. Okay. Now we can either take the moment about so before we we're taking the moment about the origin, right? But the axis A B is either you know a point on that a point on that line is either gonna be at A or B. Right? So because my force is closer to A, right, it's gonna it's gonna be a little easier to compute the distance from A to C than from B to C. Okay, I'm gonna just measure the or you know label the distance from a to c okay so what's our wow blue is not a good option okay so what's the distance from a to c okay well the distance a to c is just going to be what is that two uh Zero, zero i, zero j, and then two k. Okay. Now I'm gonna take the moment of about point a. So I'm gonna compute. So actually, before let's let's uh let's write the notation that we've been using. So the moment about a b. Okay. It's equal to the unit vector of AB dotted with uh, a moment about a point on that line. So let's do it about A. Okay. Sweet. So now that we're here, we're going to have to do so UAB, we said, so 4 fifths is 0 0.8. I minus zero point six J dotted with let's get the determinant of the moment. So the the moment I J K let's see the distance from A to C we said that was gonna be zero 
zero and two. Again, you could do the moment about B. So that should be a practice, a uh, little practice, so you can, um, you know, figure out that it, the, you should get the same answer. Okay, and then the force on the bottom row, fifty minus forty. and 20. Okay, so let's find J dotted width. And again, here, here I have I and J, so I don't care about finding the, the K term for the moment. The first one will be I. We do care about I. So I is 0 times 20. So 0 times 20, 0. Minus 2 times minus 40. So that's plus 80. OK, and now I'll switch direction, minus J. OK. So it's going to be 0 times minus 20, 0, minus 2 times 50. So that is 100. OK, and the k, we don't, so it's just k is some constant. So it's k and then some something maybe. Or actually, no, it's just 0. So this one's easy. That was just going to equal to 0. But we don't care about that. So this is M A B M A B. Okay, so now let's do the dot product here. So it's gonna be 0 0.8. So the eyes with the eyes, right? Okay, and let's just put this here. I dot I. And then minus 0 0.6. Um, let's see, times 100, and then j dot j. Okay, so you know this is just equal to 1, this is just equal to 1. Alright, and then we're left with 0.8 times 80, 64 minus 60 and that'll be four four pound feet all right 